there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are back with our good old friends, Artifacts Monday. They have another couple of games for us to actually check out. And the puzzle genre, the hidden object finding genre, I am a fan. I am a confirmed fan now. I, I, I dabbled. I dabbled, had a good time. We've done a few games of theirs over the last year. And you know what? It's a genre that actually is underserved. Uh, there's so many games made for them. But, you know, you don't hear people talk. Like, this isn't going to be like the AAA titles of the world, but their narratives are fun. They're a really good light novel. They've got a good little mind-tasing puzzles. This is the kind of shit that I would love to play through on my phone, but um, I'll probably end up maybe finding the beta versions of them because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go... I, I'm just never been an, a mobile app person because I always find that if I have games on my phone, I'll play them so much. So what we're going to do instead is play them on the PS4 where I can get them in these condensed doses. Today is Enigmatus 2, The Mists of Ravenwood. Bring it the hell on, Artifacts Monday. I want to know what you've got to show me of the Mists of Ravenwood. Artwork, as always, is gorgeous. It's like beautiful. Really well put together. It's like a, like a really nice, simple, animated Flash cartoon. It reminds me a lot of stuff like Broken Saints from back in the day. Okay. So, considering this is Enigmatus 2, there's obviously uh, a main character, kind of like the uh, Curse of the Deep storylines and stuff. Somebody that actually comes back a number of times. So I hope it's in somebody interesting. That's fucking creepy. And she woke up with no eyes. Goddamn ravens. They're untrustworthy. Can't like them. So, of course, the title uses auto save feature. Please do not turn off. Well, we know if anybody would turn off a console in the middle of a save, they deserve to lose their save. Let's take a quick look in the options. As always, controls and everything as expected. Uh, sound and music volume. Let's just check that because sometimes these, sometimes these uh, artifacts money games can be a little bit rough with the audio. There we go. That's it. That sounds to be about an, a, a decent audible level. I may have realized that a couple of episodes I might record before this actually didn't have a high enough audio level, but this should be fine for now. I sure, yeah, it's uh, set the settings. That's great. And let's jump into the new game. As always, the uh, Artifacts Monday games come with two stories. They have the Mists of Ravenwood and then the Redeemed Memories. So they always have this kind of like a uh, two-parter go with. Casual or expert going casual. It's been two years since the events of Maple Creek. And I'm still on the hunt for the evil creature. Fuck, I've actually played the so first one of these. One step ahead, but I have a lead. There are rumors of people disappearing mysteriously on the West Coast. The situation sounds familiar, but could it just be a coincidence? It's a little bit disappointing that they actually put audio balance in games that well. Because you can't hear the bad audio balance. Even though it's pretty epically interesting of its own self, but it's frustrating that it's a small tweak. Like, I shouldn't have to go into the main screen and hold down the music for the game to the dialogue or turn the dialogue up. And the thing is, you can't do dialogue separate, Whoa. it's all sorts. What on earth happened here? There's no evidence of a car crash, but that camper trailer is clearly damaged. What? How? I've never seen marks quite like that. Oh. Oh. Intriguing. Alright, so obviously oh, we have to open the diary, just get the first things. Yep, tips will be here in here. Let me jump over there. What? Oh, I have to use a hint? Oh, I like to try and like to figure these things out for myself. Becky! No! Damn you, Becky. Why did you do it? You killed them all! Alright, so, zooming back in there, anything else in the bag? No, 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 oh, frog, fuck you frog. Inside the wallet, uh, wait, okay, so this isn't, I was wondering there, Rachel Simpson was the uh, person we saw in the intro, like, is that the person that we're playing as? No, nope, 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 it's not. It'd be weird to actually have your stuff taken. So, oh, what, what the fuck is...
I'm fucked up by it. The fact that they actually look at me and go like, am I meant to catch them? Am I meant to try and catch that bitch? Alright, we can't get into the door, it has been locked. Uh, nothing here. Let's look and see. Uh, obviously we don't have anything else to put in here. Um, anything else for us to do? Uh, oh, keys! Yeah, there we go. I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't know why the keys wouldn't pick up the first time. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Keys in the lock. Obviously. Interact. Turn them around. And we get inside. Uh, 845? That's never 845. Damn! Charlie and his angels. Oh, look at that young Brad Pitt looking motherfucker. Yeah, you're not hiding anything. You put a wee finger on that. Yeah, that's Brad Pitt jaw. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Damn it. You find someone nice to be able to lift that out. Alright, what's inside the suitcase? Oh, it's not. We're actually behind. <laughs> Becky! Oh, girl, you look scared. So, so scared. You're not my mom. Where is No she? idea, kiddo. It's okay, sweetheart. I won't hurt you. Let's get you out of there. Come on. That smile you was mildly creepy. Anymore. I'm here to help. Can you tell me what happened? My mom. She's gone. I'm scared. Is your name Becky? All right. Becky, you're safe with me now. Take a deep breath and try to tell me again. Where's my mom? I want to talk to my mom. I ain't telling you. I don't Please know what to say to you, bitch. Talk to me. I don't know where your mom you is. Calm her and win her trust somehow. Beat her with a stick. No, no, that's not gonna work. My mom. She's gone. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. Yeah, camera down and treat the scratch. So, uh. Can't beat her with a stick to knock her out, so we need to figure out something else. Hmm. I wonder what we can do. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. Aww. Butterfly but butterflies equals love. Fire plus girl. Mother! Alright, I have to pick up stuff here. Yay, we fish around. We'll be able to pick stuff up from this corner. No, we don't need that anymore. Uh, boom. No. Alright, go back over here. And we use... The fishing rod on that way. We are geniuses. Boom. All right, we're going back inside and we're opening up. What the fuck? What was that? We need to stop looking at the creepy shit. The creepy the shit is not fun. What? Okay, so E bear. Oh, but we. Oh, it says comforter, we need a. Jeez! Oh, God, Badger! Okay, so we need the mouse. We have a screw. Oh, we need a screw to put into it? God damn it. Um. Oh. That we need. Oh, cut the shrub. Alright. Well, can't really cut anything unless we have the tools to do so. What are we going to use here? Hey! That was actually useful. I was wondering if I was sitting there with a screwdriver, I'm going to get it has to be something useful. Uh, yeah, use the screw, and then use the screwdriver. And then turn it around, make use of it. Tweak, tweak, tweak. Pick. And then use that on that. Haha! Now you fucked off, didn't you? Batteries, uh, picture book, a key. Uh, we take the key, we use it on here. Open it up. Uh, we need scissors, we need thread. Oh, you need a needle. Alright. So. Oh yeah, we need to use the scissors on this. Cut it out. Boom! Sorted. Should make her feel a little bit more safe. We need dry. Oh, it's serious. Okay, so we need to put the battery in there. We need to pick it up. And we need to use this with this and this. Woo! Little hand hair dryer. Oh, it got so fluffy. Needle. 
Not this wee bit. So what we need to do here is use needle with thread, pick that up, then pick that up, and then use needle with thread. Oh, hang on, we need to use uh, leg with needle and thread. Boom! We are a goddamn seamstress. And this is the teddy bear from the picture I need to sew on the missing paw. Oh, put the sweater on. All right. And then put on this little barrette. That's it. Boom. Sorted. Happy days. Okay, so. Oh, wait, hang on. Box. Open. Keys. Burn it. Take out that. Take out that. Plasters and everything. So we'll comfort her with the teddy bear. Teddy! Teddy! She was a present from my mom. Rub an alcohol on it. Ow. Sting a little. And bandage. Now let's put it. My Boom. mom and dad are gone. A monster took them. Can you find them? Please? A monster? Your mommy's in another castle. Oh, sweetheart. There's no such thing as monsters. What the fuck? Fuck you, Bernie! Shit! Fucking birds, man. First Bioshock, then this. Fucking birds. It's all gone. The camper. My truck, Becky, where are they? And all the other stuff too. What is going on here? What the fuck? Please tell me I'm hallucinating. The alarm clock from the camper. Wait, only 20 minutes have passed? Then why is it so bright all of a sudden? I don't know, but I don't want to know. I really hope the sunlight was playing tricks on my eyes. Who the fuck are you? Welcome to Ravenwood Park, man. I'm Gerald Whitmarsh, the owner. Mm. And this family, a stolen camper, a monstrous creature outside my park. Okay, okay, please calm down, man. I'll be happy to help you. Though I'm sorry to say we didn't see anything. We only opened a few minutes ago. Yes, but on the way here. Your shirt is freaking me out. It's almost like hypnotically kind of like moving, you know. Time, why don't you relax and tour the park a bit? Take a ride on the Redwood Gondola, free of charge. You can get a ticket here at the shop. Oh, and we just had new maps printed. Here, take one. They look great, don't you? You, dude! In any case, you? you can find me in my residence. Tell me where the kids are! The valley. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so that's how we can quickly travel from place to place. Okay, this is actually our quick thing. So, uh... I use gondola. Obviously, this is not as creepy as it Welcome was a moment to the ago. Park, I overheard you speaking to Mr. Whitmarsh. What a frightening story. I'm sorry to say, I didn't witness a thing. I'm right. Here's that Redwood gondola ticket. You might as well enjoy the view. It'll be some time before help arrives. Should you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask the park staff. Well, I'm asking you, what the fuck's going on? You forgot to take your ticket, ma'am. And please enjoy your stay while you wait for help to arrive. Well, ain't that Something's delightful. Something's wrong here. Everyone's too friendly and cheerful. I should have a look around. Fuck off. You stay down there. You stay out of sight. The mild shivers of a creep up here. Like it's actually like one of the things where this is too pleasant. What? Wait. What the fuck. <laughs> this looks familiar. Yep. The butterfly pendant. Becky was wearing it around her neck. You motherfuckers. Mom, she's gone. I'm scared. You're scared. What's it doing under I'm the so snack scared. bar door? Is Becky in there? But they all claimed not to have seen a thing. Yeah. 
Obviously, there's a kidnapper living in the snack bar. Let's all go to the snack bar. Let's all go to the snack bar. Oh, but I was going to actually break the lock. Really? Toolbox! Happy days! Thank you! Nice! <laughs> nice glass cutter. Very effective. Strange. How come it was locked from the inside? Oh, if there's no other exit, or is there? <laughs> it's one of those things where I can literally like scan across the room going like, there is three things to interact with. Obviously it's going to be used. Simple and straight. Right, we need a Go look under here. So that's going to open with this thing, please. Oh, here we go. Damn it, I am a genius! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Fucking asshole. Oh, who was that? At least I'm not hurt. What is this place? is damaged and won't lock into place. I'll have to find a way to yeah, lock it the door is open. Out of the way, Rado. Hmm. Oh, there's a side room. Gotta use that side door. Actually, I'm gonna go back and look at this. Oh, no, we mini puzzle. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to walk up to that. Oh, sweet! Hello? Shh, don't shout. I need your help. And if you're down here, then you're in need of mine. We can't trust anyone out there. This place is not what it seems. Sure. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? How can we help each other? I know a bit about our enemy and this place. I will give you clues and tell you his story. I'll also give you a few small artifacts I managed to steal from him and keep hidden in my cell. In he didn't turn, hide them in his cell. He hid them up his butt. As you can see, my cell has quite a complex lock. The relief is the key. If I know my enemy, its pieces are scattered around the park, in the tunnels, trees. Everywhere. Since this is a demo, Should it will not be doing that. this puzzle My in any way, shape, or form. So I wouldn't be too concerned about what he's actions. got to say. Find all the relief pieces to open my cell, and my words will turn into actions. Use lighter on Who face. Who are you? I came. You're here, but like me, I will help. Us. Yeah, I'm. I'm grounded. Let me see. We can, we can leave that for another time. Fuel. Use a map. Fine. Uh, oh, very useful. Uh, 
So we end up using hatchet wood. Boom, baby. Let me go put the back in here. Put a little bit of oil in the lamp. Boom, boom, boom. Easy peasy. Well lit, well lit. Step ladder to get ourselves up. All right, that's a good sign. We can probably use that to get up there. Anything else we need to grab? Oh, there we go. Looking in here. Ah, right. We can use that to jimmy the door closed. <clears throat> I'm assuming these are clues, clues, and clues. These are rags. If you pin your evidence on this board, I can help you in your investigation. You bastard. I can see the whole board from here. Just clear the remaining stuff off it. Yeah, that's disturbing. Hey, what exactly are you investigating? I have evidence that a few people disappeared this morning at the park gate. Under highly unusual circumstances. It comes as no surprise to me. I'll help you find them. Start off by identifying our missing persons. One and two. The whole family is gone. God, even the father's gone as well. The mother's purse was left next to the park gate. Not good. Together Not good at all. Wallet, this is this is going to end in tragedy. And I'm sure of it. And the of her daughter, the very girl I found. My mom and dad are gone. A monster took them. And then lost moments later. Such a happy family. Oh. Indeed, I can't leave now. I have to find them. But first, we need to establish what happened to them after they were taken, and who's behind their disappearance. But I can't do my part until I get out of this dungeon. Obviously. I think I can help you. Come here to the cell door. Uh, I have something for you. What? Slaps it down on the counter. Your way in is your way out. The trap door. Among my few possessions, I have one of the two keys. To find the second, you'll have to search the maze of tunnels beyond the metal door. Obviously! Decipher the rune symbols above the door. They will lead you through the maze. Good luck. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. Happy days. Right, now we're going to go and have some fun. Right, one, we need to open that to rip. And we use crowbar. Boom! <laughs> oh, there we go, a better look. Only those who follow the master may pass. Use that. What? Obviously I'm missing something here. Oh, what about with tracing implements? Okay, so a bit of charcoal, that'll do the job. Boom. Scrapey, scrapey, scrapey. Scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. <clears throat> so that symbol, 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 symbol. So that'll tell us what direction we need to go. So, right. Take that with us, and that'll lead us out the door. Well, why don't we the go maze into this? The maze the prisoner spoke of. I should follow the runes in the code he gave me. <gasps> oh my god. Take the left. Can we go this way, yeah? And press the button. And open the door. That'll be the one we're really looking for. Into the moss. I don't know what it means. So obviously we're going up you. 
Oh, scary, jump scary, scare. We're going up this one. Can open that door. Don't you open that trap door! There's something down there. X. I think I made a wrong move. I should turn back. What? One. Two. Three. All right, sorry. It seems I've reached some double up on the chamber. There's another mystic butterfly. Look at the butter freeze. Oh, that's the ladder back at the goddamn door. Find parts. All right. Ah, there we go. Use thing to move other thing. Yep, grab that bit. Anything that's interactable? Yep, yep, yep. There we go. We're making progress here. We're finding all the hidden things. Aren't we? Okay, so the chain with a hook on the end of it is sorted. That is sorted. We need a manacle and another chain. Uh, where is it? <clears throat> Looking for the shapes in here? Oh, he's <laughs> hiding up in these corners. Right, fine. I'll start looking up in these edges. Oh, dear God. We're at that point now. Is it precision that I'm lacking here, or is it just the fact that I'm not spotting these? Seriously? Two things I have to find. I'm looking here, and I don't see a chain or a key-like object. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so we've got one left to grab, and I'm looking at it here. It's like a pole with a square tip on it, and I'm looking at this. But I'm assuming there's something I need to lift to actually break that one. It's underneath stuff. Oh, wait, it was right there. Derp. You have found a useful item. Chain and hook. And we use. What the hell? Oh, there you go. Chain and hook. Boom. Problem solved. There we go. Screw that shit in. Put that in there. Boom, we sorted. Wait, what? Ah, there we go. Cranky, cranky, crank. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Moving on to the next thing that's hiding underneath. Barrels full of grog. This is super creepy. Oh, shit. Well, that's a discovery and a half. A fucking mass grave full of barrels. Ooh. Well, that's quite effective. So, yeah, that was uh, wonderfully terrifying adventures of Enigmatus to the mists of Ravenwood. And there's so many more stories to tell. So many more things to find out. I enjoy playing these Artifacts Monday games. I mean, I give them shit whenever I'm playing them, but yeah, uh, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. So yeah, Enigmatus, The Mists of Ravenwood, or Enigmatus 2, The Mists of Ravenwood. Hope you guys actually enjoyed it. It was actually um, a pretty a pretty interesting experience. As always, Artifacts Monday always gives us a good adventure with a little bit of the pointy clicky. And pointy clicky has always been a big thing for me. Uh, thank you very much to the guys who've been chatting in the chat while I was actually going through that there. My apologies about the um, 
the lack of communication. I was engrossed in the game and I wasn't watching the chat there. If you guys are upset by that, I apologize. I'll chat these after this video is finished. Uh, thank you very much for watching. This has actually been Eggman's 2, The Mists of Ravenwood. If you want to see more of this game, if you want to see more Artifacts Monday content on the channel, make sure to comment underneath the video because we've done a fair amount of these. In fact, I might actually just make a playlist of just Artifacts Monday content to actually be putting on this. And if you enjoyed the video, remember to subscribe. If you don't do the subscribe thing, that's okay. Not everybody does. But just remember the name. Pastiche of skin. Google it. It's easy to find me. I'm not trying to hide. I'm right here. So make sure you check it out. Um, obviously, as well, if you're on YouTube, there will be a subscribe button up there. But over here will be a playlist. Probably going to be an Artifacts Money playlist. I'll create just for you guys to check out the rest of these. On the far side will be actually the most recent episode on the channel. And right here, this video right here, will be a video dedicated to you. Because the video is actually you want to use like YouTube analytics and all the details and all the stuff that you previously watched otherwise to go and check out to pick a movie or pick a video for you to see. And I, this will actually be attuned to your interest. So probably the best point is actually to watch that video first before you go anywhere else on the channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.